Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial. This tutorial will be on installing Linux server within Proxmox, the tutorial segment for Shelly test node. There will be a several videos within this segment to uh, get you along from start to finish. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them down below in the comment section. All right, let's jump into it. So first off, we want to make sure we have our ISO uploaded to Proxmox so we can boot the ISO and install the operating system. So as we can see here, I already have mine loaded, but if you were to load your ISO, you would simply open up the PVE, go down to local, PVE, click on content, then click on upload. You'd select your file and then upload it, and then it would be shown in the content folder. All right, so what we want to do is we'll create, then we'll name it. And you can name it anything you want, just as long as you know what that name is representing. So one thing I like to do is make sure this advanced is ticked. And then we go OS. And then we would go down to the ISO that we want to boot. Make sure the type is matching what you're going with. Now we'll go to hard drive. I'm going to put 50. And that's uh, 50 gigs. Then we'll go CPU. We'll tick two cores. And then this is where the advanced will come in. You can see this vCPU, which is virtual CPU. You want to have that at number two. Now, sometimes I have issues with enabling NUMA, uh, so I would try installing without the NUMA in, uh, check marked. Um, and if you have any issues, you can come back and follow these steps again and then check NUMA and see if that helps. We go to RAM. So depending on how much RAM you have on your system and how much you're willing to uh, give it, um, this will vary for person and environment. I'm going to give it about four gigs. Uh, minimum will be two gigs. And you can give it more. Um, I wouldn't really give it less. Network should be left and then we want to tick start after created and then hit finish. All right, now what we want to do is click on the VM that we just created. It should have already started since we ticked the start after finish. Then we would click on console and then we can uh, make the screen wider if we want so we can see everything that's happening within the screen. Now uh, we'll just wait until it loads up to the next screen that will give us options. All right, now we choose the preferred language and we identify what our keyboard settings are. I'm just gonna install just Ubuntu nothing special on top of it. So we'll select install Ubuntu. We can go ahead and get across this real fast and click done and done, then done. We want to use the entire disk. And as you can see, it says 50 gigs like we set earlier. We can click done on that. Now we want to continue, 
So then we can uh, choose our name for login. And you want to do probably user or something more specific. Then you want to name your server. Then you want to set the password. I'm going to install OpenSSH, although it's not needed. Then we'll uh, go next. Here is a whole bunch of additional um, server snaps uh, that you can add to the server. I'm not going to do anything with that, so I'm just going to click next or done. Now you want to reboot the server. Hit enter again as you don't need to remove the installation medium. Now you want to enter your login name and then password. And then once you're done with this, you are in the server. Now we want to run a command. The first command we want to run is sudo apt-git update. Then it'll ask for your password. Once this is done, we want to type in another command, sudo apt-git upgrade, then say yes. And this will take a moment, so go ahead and pause until you're finished. All right, now we want to restart. So click yes. Now we want to do sudo add dash apt dash repository universe. Then we want to do sudo add dash apt dash repository multiverse. Now we want to do sudo apt install task cell and then say yes. Now we want to do sudo task cell and now launch the program. We want to unselect anything that's on there already as we probably won't need it. Then you want to look for Ubuntu Desktop.
and then click OK. This should take a little while, so go ahead and pause. Now you want to do sudo reboot. And then enter your password. Once this restarts, it should boot up into Linux, uh, asking you to click on your account and entering your password. Now you're into the GUI, Graphical User Interface. And this is uh, the end of this tutorial. There will be uh, additional tutorials to uh, follow this one. Uh, I do have an older Linux test node install video that's going to be updated and should be uh, followed up after this video is released. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. Like, subscribe. I have a donation uh, addresses down bottom if you feel that uh, it was worth a donation. Thank you very much and see you next time.